everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. Always so excited to tell you um, when it is new catalog kickoff week. So this video will post not on the day that you can order. So that day is May 2nd, but I always like to tell you what my um, catalog kickoff week specials are. So I'm going to show you a couple things and then I'll get right to that. If you want to see it, because I can't open the catalog yet. So on the day, I'm really going to try to do an unboxing video. I should have my box of goodies, which will include all of the new embellishments and all of the new ribbon and just a couple of new um, stamp sets. I won't have a whole lot of time to stamp for fun. Um, it will be fun, but I'm going to be making projects that I can't show you unless you have signed up for my try it class because um, I'm going to be working on that and getting um, my club cut so we can skedaddle out of here and get on to our European vacation um, when my cats and my house sitter take over my studio. So, um, I, but I will be able to show you all of the new embellishments and stuff. I can't show you inside, so it's hard. The embellishment names aren't very creative. So I will have pictures of them on my um, little thank you thing that I always do. So if you're on my email list, you can go to my website and see the pictures. I'll tell you the name in just a second. But this video has posted, so if it's still up to May 1st, you can see this is my last, last chance um, card. So this is from the... January to April mini catalog. You have until May 1st to order from that and from the May 20 or the 2022 to 2023 annual catalog. Still lots of deals. So I talk a little bit about it, that in this and this is a really pretty sweet. The dies are $13 and they're such good dies. So go watch that if you aren't familiar with that. Then I am going to be using the Cheerful Daisies today. Um, for this little quick card that I'm going to do. This one I use mostly the paper and the dies. On today's card, I'm not going to use the paper or the dies. So I'm just going to show you the stamp set. Um, but this card is for Card Club. Um, my Card Club is online. It's a subscription based. If you go to this video, you can learn all about it. Normally, I would have lots more days to tell you because sign up for it is usually every other month ever since I've ever started it. It's always the 10th of the month. For the first time ever, you have to sign up by the first and if you're in card club you know you have to make any changes i i'm sure that you know because i've mentioned it a ton of times but just for this month only but the good news is you have to have made your changes by the first of the month but it'll be in the mail not by the 26th this time but by the 10th so you'll have new stuff in the mail to you by the by may 10th which is normally when you have to have signed up so if you don't have a copy yet of this catalog and I was supposed to send it to you. You need to let me know ASAP so I can get it in the mail to you. Um, if you've never gotten a Stampin' Up! catalog before and you're in the U.S., let me know and I will get it to you. So, catalog, well, let me do May specials first. So, I always have thank you specials every month. For this May, if you use my host code, which you can find it, there will be two host codes this May. So, the first one will get us through um, May 6th and catalog kickoff is through May 5th. So on May 7th, I will redeem that host code. So the first one, you'll find it in my emails. You'll find it on my website. And if you get the shop now code from my email um, newsletter, then all you have to do is hit that and the code is already included in it. But if you spend $50, then you're gonna get the in color pearls. So if you have the catalog, flip back there and look at the in color pearls. If you spend $200 and you use, you don't have to use the host code because then you're going to get free stuff from Stampin' Up! as well, but I still give you this stuff. You're going to get the in, curl, in color pearls and the natural trim wavy ribbon. So that is all month long. That is all of May. And if you don't have to do it in one order, spend the $200. You do to get this stuff from Stampin' Up! at $150. Um, but if you spend $75 the first week and then you find more stuff that you like and you want to see some stuff and try it out, I add all of your orders up and then I send all of my thank yous out by the 10th of the following month. And you get also um, VIP videos, you get some projects, all of that is explained on my website and in my email. So you'll get up to two projects and you get, if you spend anything at all, then you get the videos. Um, so that's all of May. Then from May 2nd to May 5th, so those three days of catalog kickoff, you get those always the May things. Then at $75, which is another level in there, 
you can either get, you can have your choice because some of you already have these, you'll get a charm that can go either on a bone folder or on your scissors, or if you already have the charm or you just don't want one, you can pick dimensionals instead. So you'll have to answer the email. If you don't answer the email, then you're gonna get the dimensionals. Um, but you'll have till um, the end of May to answer the email. And you probably won't get the email until close to the end of, the, of May, unless you let me know. And then if you spend 150, um, you'll get both the charm and all of the other stuff that's May, because you get all of them. And then you can either get the bone folder and it'll have the hole drilled in it for you so you can add your charm. Or instead of the bone folder, you can get the adhesive backed sequins trio. So you can look those up and see what they are if you don't want to go look at the picture of them that I have on the website. So a lot of you have already asked because I've been saying that this is going to be one of the options. You can also put this on your um, snips because it will go on there if you don't want it on a bone folder. So that's how you get that three days only and don't be coming to me in the middle of May because I won't even be here to answer. And while the house sitter will be here, she doesn't work for Stampin' Up! or for me and my cats don't have thumbs so they don't answer my emails. They'll, I'm sure they will be in my office but they won't be answering. So it's those specials are just for May catalog kickoff time to get this. And it happens every time I offer these is that sometime past it, people will say, how do I get that? It's just then, otherwise you'll have to wait till there's a new catalog next year. <laughs> Cause this, I only offer them on once at a time cause it gets a little bit much. So let's do this super quick little cheerful daisies card. I'm just gonna use white cardstock cause when I, you can probably tell when I get in a hurry and I am doing little quick fun projects it's not the first time the last few days that I have only used white cardstock, but that's the fun of it is you can show off all of our new colors and I'm hoarding all of the paper because most of it's already been cut um, for Try It class. The, the stuff that I was able to pre-order is mostly already cut and ready to go in your Try It class because um, I needed every last piece that I could get and on some of it where I'm going to already have to order more. So this is a half a sheet of white. And then I'm just going to fold it in half and I'm going to use my beautiful little bone folder. And it, you know, you think you already have one. If you saw how many of these I have, because I just pick different ones because they make me happy. This is really old paper. This is that craft paper that we had a while ago. And you know, the old ribbon. In fact, this is a little bit dirty because it's old. It still makes me happy. So this is a false front. This is the, oh goodness. It's with the, now I can't even, we used it in card club. It is the suite that's in the catalog. The catalog now, it did carry over. It's like basket weave. Oh guys, it's in the, well, I just threw that catalog in the floor because I literally just, I just filmed that other card. And I can't open this one. It's in the, why can I not think of the name? I have too many things going on. If you like that little suite that has the, the rain stuff, the stamp set's carried over, but the paper did not. So get the paper before it's gone. And I shouldn't say that because it could be gone. People keep watching my older videos where I talk about the shimmer white paper. It's gone. So I know in earlier videos when they first discontinued the shimmer white because I love the shimmer white, Regency Park. How can I not think of that? I mean, it's Australian too. Um, but Regency Park, that sounds like where we're, just, we're going to England. Scotland, the United Kingdom. That sounds like some place that we'll be going. The cane weave embossing folder. So that's what I used. And I just ran this through. Now, uh, we've been doing a lot of this because when you do classes, um, but I just like to, I call them false fronts. I like to have my card be like this. I think it makes your card a little sturdier. And when you're doing it for in mass production, it's easier to run a quarter sheet through. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on a little pro tip. It's easier to put your adhesive on here. Like this. Oh, I didn't, I don't think I said the 200 and there's also a third option. Did I say that? Um, for catalog kickoff week, if you spend 250 from the front during May 2nd to May 5th, you get those two things and then you also get the forever friends kit because i love that kit and i have the card laying over there i can see it um so then you get all of those things it's the one with the green foil or this the yeah i think it's green foil 
So there's three. That's all. It's in the picture. I was working on the little picture before. So I have this. Now I want to use just the stamps for this. This was a card we made at camp. And I just want to use one daisy. I want a fun, simple card. So when I first started playing with this, I stuck this in here because I used some color combinations that I didn't really care for. This is where I ended up, but I had like, and I did end up using the bubble bath as my base color, but I didn't like, I thought this was not bright enough. I started out with some purples. Again, I didn't like it bright enough. This is something else that I did when I needed some scrap paper. But I kept this in here because I can always then try colors. And I just put it back in here because then you don't have to keep always wondering, hmm, I wonder what that would look like because I tried it. So just throw it back in there and then you have something else you can try when you want to try again in the future. So let's do, I'm just going to do one daisy. And I wanted to use lots of new colors. So I would be interested to know when you guys order your first order, do you get new colors or new stamps? And then on a year like this, do you get new in colors or do you get new um, core colors? Are you going to get all the colors? Are you going to get markers or blends or stamp pads? There's so many decisions. It's hard. So there's the bubble bath and just the daisy. So that's all I need for that. I haven't even had time to put my little um, things on. And then I did go old because when I was mixing the new colors, I didn't like any of them. And you know, you don't have to use something just because it's new. So this is Melon Mambo. And these daisies have a definite tall and a definite, definite short side. So line the little short side up and then that will match the tall side, which it's so much easier to do if you stick your head right over the top. That's not, a, that's not lined up perfectly, but it's okay. Not terrible. Just pretend it's one of those graphic design t-shirts that you buy, like from Kohl's or something, where if you look at them, the art is never perfect on that. So just be Kohl's. And then I've got Lemon Lolly. my flower center and lemon lolly just right in the middle again it's easier if your head's over the top it's not terrible and then lemon lime twist which if you have if you keep your old in colors you may have some of the current core colors that are coming in that have been in the past so you might not want to buy the full set of markers and the full set of returning colors because if you have them there's no sense in getting them that way so then it might be cheaper to just get the colors that you need so check and see if you've kept your old, old colors the best way to do it for you now i don't have a black pad laying here because i haven't used one i keep using new colors here we go so there's really sweet sayings in this set i'm going to use wishing you the brightest birthday And then I don't have any ribbon in these colors. But you know look, what looks really good with daisies and really good on a white card is black, the black gingham ribbon. It's a classic and it's carrying over. So I'm just going to use that. And it just looks nice and bright for your brightest birthday. So just tie a little bow here. This isn't little, but um, we, like I said, we made this project at camp and um, camp was a hot minute ago and I never unpacked it. So it's been smashed in its bucket. So that was kind of the smashing point. So either I cut it off or I go with it. So we're just gonna go with it. So add some adhesive here. flip it over just gonna add it to my card through here 
And again, put it on your flat card, not the one that's been through the folder, because then sometimes the paper will pull up because the paper has, um, isn't as, it's been wrinkled, so it's not as stiff as it used to be. Now I'm going to take my dark bubble bath blend, and I'm just gonna fill in a little bit of the white a little bit more pink just a little bit I thought about doing all of the colors but then I thought it's going to turn into a rainbow and then the classic matte dots I almost put these on as one of my freebies since I'm using them and then I almost put the um they're, pro they're, they're probably called classic something dots because like I said the names are not um do I want black or white oh I guess I have both colors on my other card Let's just do white. Um, the ones that are the, the bronze and the gold and the copper. Because be watching. I have filmed it. And it will post while we are. Um, maybe the day. I don't remember. I haven't put it. Like I haven't pre-done it yet. Because I did, wanted to have the, the May thank you gifts ready to put on it. But are the sample. that Not the samples. The swaps I made for um, the Stampin' Up trip. And those, I used those because those colors go really well with the current in colors. The coppers and the pebbled path and the pecan pie and the mauve, they match really, really well. So I almost threw those in, but then I thought, no, because it's a little bit far away from that point. So there it is with just the white. And then one more little step, because it is it's a simple card. So I'm just going to take... A little bit. I'm not going to overdo it with my Stella, but just add a tiny bit. The next time you get one of those inexpensive little t-shirts that has flowers all over it, take a look. And most of the time, the patterns do not line up. So here's this one. And then here it is with black and white both. And this one is what happens when you put your head right over the top because nobody is looking at the top of the camera. And so your head can cover it up. So there you go. If you have any questions now, as far as phone, or, phone orders go on May 2nd, I'm not going to take them on May 1st. Um, so I can't take it ahead of time. You can text them or email them to me as long as I have your payment information on file. Then I'm happy to take the order ahead of time and put it in at some point during May 2nd. I have to get all of my orders in in first and I have several huge ones that have to go in to take care of club and classes and then I will get to them. Um, and then May 3rd, I will get the get them in in the afternoon um, and May 4th. May 5th, I, those days are a little bit more free for me as far as, because if I try to get the catalog um, unboxing video, then that takes up my phone for filming and then it also takes it up for up editing and then it takes it up for uploading. So I'll try, try. And if you don't reach me on the, um, one of those days, but you've left a message to get it, then I will honor those catalog kickoff specials if we just haven't touched base, but you've tried to phone an order in to me. Otherwise it's the easiest. A lot of times, the customer side of the website is faster to put orders in than ours because they have updated yours months ago and ours is getting this close to being updated, but it hasn't been updated yet. So ours can be a whole lot slower <laughs> than your side. Everybody have a great day and I'll catch you back here. The next time I see you, it will be new catalog week. Have a great one. Bye.